what would you think about moving to a plus one system? Have the bowl games as normal, then afterwards you have the 14 playoff. You can reestablish the meaning of bowl games, plus it's quasi-expansion without actually adding more games. Back when we had the BCS, and we started to have two camps form in the latter portion of the 2000s, this was one of the camps. There was one camp that said, let's just have a full-fledged playoff. And there was another camp that said, let's just have a plus one. Let's keep the same model, but after all the games are played, let's have one more game that pits number one versus number two. At the time, I didn't see much of a need for that. You had very, very rare instances like 04, where an undefeated Auburn, an undefeated Power 5 team, did not get a chance to play for a title. Yes, that was a shame. Yes, we needed more than two spots that year. But outside of that, like I've told you before, just because people were complaining to me, did not always signify there was something wrong. People complaining at the end of the year is not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather there be one too few of spots than four too many spots. I, I never had a problem with that, but you know I'm a regular season guy. So whatever the postseason was, was whatever the postseason was. But I love bowl season. And so what that plus one model was being proposed to do, I would give anything to have now. Because what that would be is you would forget about seeding the playoff the day after conference championships. You would just seed bowl season. You would just send teams to their traditional tie-ins so you would, you would be 100% sure to have your Big Ten and your Pac-12 out in the Rose Bowl. You'd have your Big 12 SEC in the Sugar Bowl. You would, the cotton would be what it's supposed to be. The orange would be what it's supposed to be. You would have all the traditional tie-ins. And then after that, if you wanted to have a number one versus number two for a national championship, or I don't care, even seed the playoffs, have your one versus four and three versus two after bowl season. I'd give anything for that today. I mean, that is so much more preferable to me than expanding the playoff. Because to me, that's, that's killing something that doesn't need to get killed. And that is the sanctity of the regular season. I, I know the counter argument there. We don't need to go down that road. You know why I disagree with the counter argument too. So we don't need to go down that road. But if we were to do that this year, you know, if we were to have uh, Bama, Cincinnati, we would have Georgia, Michigan, instead of having those playoff games there, Let's say that we just seeded all of those New Year's Six games and we put teams wherever they get put. And then after that, we pick your playoff. I, I'd prefer that a whole lot more. Obviously, because of the lack of television inventory and because of what you call a model that gives more teams more hope in an expanded 12-team format or whatever the case may be, we're probably not going to go down that road. But Andre, boy, now that I know the consequence of having a playoff in the sport that's already decided at least the field being decided before bowl season, and knowing what it does to the regular season to some extent, and certainly the rest of bowl season, I'd give anything, yeah, to have that plus one format. I'd definitely be on board with that.